So practical advice on the application of red light therapy for the average at home uh, uh, device that you'll buy. We sell them in clinic. Um, we sell a combined device, which is 650 nanometers, which is deep red when you look at it, and, and also 810 nanometers, which penetrates a little bit deeper into the skin, so it'll get uh, the more deeper structures. Um, and when you look at it, that'll be uh, very faint, um, almost invisible to you, um, again, red light. What you need to do is you need to have that uh, uh, device around about six inches away from the painful area. So if I have it on my chest, about six inches away from my chest and you want to have it on the um, above the area of pain for around about eight to ten minutes you can do that up to three times a day and you need to make sure that whilst you're doing it you stay really really so the laser and the LED the bulb that you would normally buy two different things um, in terms of how the beam is uh, collimated, how it's focused. So with the average device that's an LED, a light emitting diode that you'd buy off Amazon or the one that we do in clinic, absolutely safe to look straight at it um, with your eyes open. In fact, there's a lot of evidence coming out of uh, Japan that's showing some really, really nice evidence for it helping to uh, help um, something called age-related macular degeneration. And so yes, absolutely, eyes wide open, hair scraped back, makeup off, and looking straight into it. Um, again, you can look at it for eight to 10 minutes. If you buy a laser, then absolutely don't look at it directly with the naked eye. Nice and